Today we'll discuss the fluid therapy portion of enhancing patient recovery. Goal-directed fluid therapy is a very important part of the intraoperative portion of enhanced recovery, and the evidence uh, suggests the following. First, the 4 one rule that is used to determine maintenance plus deficit plus insensible loss is not scientifically based. There is no all-consuming third space. As we were all taught, there was a 2 to 8 cc per kilo per hour uh, insensible loss in patients depending on the amount of body cavity exposed. There's really no science for that at all. At most, insensible losses are 1 cc per kilo per hour, and we can certainly sense NG output and urine output. Third spacing does, however, occur, and it occurs primarily at the site of surgical manipulation. So for our colorectal surgery patients, the location of their primary edema is the site of surgical anastomosis. And so, that we, so we know that crystalloid overhydration can affect anastomotic leak rate. We do know there are great tools available, such as the Nexfin monitor, the Vigileo, the CardioQ. <clears throat> they are extremely expensive. <clears throat> with some of the disposables costing up to $300 a piece. Um, that may be the wave of the future. The, there are countries now that require that to be used for colorectal surgery. We are not going to require that currently. Uh, and so our recommendations are going to be as follows. IVs are going to be placed on a pump starting in the preoperative area. All too often it occurs that patients receive a liter of fluid before they even get into the operating room. And so putting the IV fluid on a pump before surgery will hopefully minimize that chance. Fluids will run at 3 cc's per kilo per hour throughout the duration of the case in an attempt again to normalize fluid management. If drugs are going to be given, use flush syringes to push the medications in rather than opening the IVs. Again, all too often what happens is we open up the IV to flush in our medicines, we forget, and the next thing you know, especially if we have a large IV, the patient has received a liter of fluid. If boluses are needed, use 5% albumin or plasminate. Uh, we are aware that there is a, a continuing controversy about crystalloid versus colloid therapy. There is, however, good uh, evidence in the colorectal surgery literature that colloid fluid replacement improves anastomotic oxygenation levels and may decrease anastomotic breakdowns. So again, IVs will be run through a pump at 3 cc's per kilo per hour, and if fluids were needed for boluses, use 5% albumin or plasminate. If you have further questions, please contact myself, Rebecca Kelly, the ARIS Project Manager, Dan Savasi, or Carol Schmidt. Thank you very much.